we're, uh, we're, we're next going to talk about how you make money of your product, right? And I just want to start with what is a business model? Um, it's most people think of it as pricing, and it's absolutely not pricing, right? So your business is created to generate some value for your customer, and your business model is how you share that value created with your customer, right? So how do you extract a portion of the value that your business creates from your customer? Um, what, is, what is often underestimated is the value of really thinking through your business model and coming up with an innovative business model. And I just want to take Google's example here. There were a bunch of very good search engines before Google came along. The, the first one was actually a pretty good one, web crawler, which started in 94. I don't know if Don, uh, Don do, you, do you know that? A little bit, all right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, there were quite a few before Google came to the party. But what Google did differently was they came up with a, with a targeted ads model to, to really extract the maximum value from a search engine, right? And that just helped them take off very, very quickly, let them invest back in their product itself, create the best search engine out there as well, right? But when they first started, they were definitely not the best search engine. Um, and Finally, we, we're gonna. So we, we're just gonna talk through these four items today. The the last part of it being uh, set a framework to come up with your pricing, calculate the lifetime value of a customer and cost of customer acquisition, and with respect to the types of high growth startups that you guys are trying to create, we're gonna keep operating in sort of administrative costs outside of our first initial business model. The goal is really to think about your lifetime value of a customer, so, so how much is a new customer worth to you, versus what is the cost of acquiring this customer. And if that can be at a ratio of around three, you, you, ha you have a viable, sustainable, high growth business. Now at first you're not going to have a number of three because your cost of customer acquisition, especially if you're uh, trying to create something like a platform, right, w might be a little bit higher to start with, but you've got to have a very clear map and idea of how from where you stand today, you're going to get to this ratio of three. And if it seems like you're, you're not going to get there, you, you need to rethink your business model and come up with a way that actually allows you to do that, right? And so the point of doing this before you build a product is actually critical because the stuff you've done so far leads into this, but this tells you if you have a viable business model long term or not. 